Friday before it starts. Danas imamo uvodni dan prije našto počne. It's called like, it's a, like an Adivas, an Adivas for a one week festival. A one week program of the night, uh, coming together of the devotees. Uh, imamo Adivas, ceremoniju od sedmodennih festivala gdje se skupljaju vat. Therefore it's appropriate if you follow one of the Stoga je prikladno da slijedimo, da slijedimo ove stvari koje je rekla Mata Đužmila. Možemo skupa. Možemo skupa recitirati Mandala Čarano. Mandala Čarano znači povoljno prizivano. Možemo skupa mandala. Om Akyati Maram Yasya Karam Chana Sangaya Shakshurun Militam Yena Tasma Shigrave Namaha Sri Chaitanya Manobhistam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Sayam Rupa Madamayam Dadati Svavadantikam Vandeham Shiguro Shiyuta Patakamalam Shiguro Vaishnavamsha Shirupat Sakachatam Sakana Rakunatam Vitam Tamasachivam Sadevitam Savadutam Harichana Sahita Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shirana Krishna Patam Sakana Rahita Shivichakam Vitamsha Ma Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale Shri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namine Namaste Saraswati Deve Goravani Prachanine Nirvishesha Sunyavati Vashyatade Shantarine Manchakalpa Trubyasya Kripa Sindhu Vedacha Tavitana Bhavane Gyo Vaishnave Gyo Namo Namaha Mandesi Krishna Chaitanya Nityananda Sahoditao Kautadaya Pushpavanto Chitya Chanto Tamonadao Namo Mahavadanaya Krishna Prema Padayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gora Krishna Namaha Ancha Tatma Kam Krishnam Bhakta Rupa Svarupa Kam Bhakta Vataram Bhakta Kam Namaha Bhakta Shakti Kam E Krishna Karuna Sindhu Vila Bando Chakapate Gopicha Gopika Kanta Bhata Kanta Namostute Chayatam Suratur Bangor Mamamanda Bhate Pratir Matsarva Sapatam Bocho Dada Madana Mohano Divya Vrindaranya Kalpa Trumata Shri Madratakara Singha Sanastu Shri Madrata Shiva Govinda Deva Prestali Viseva Manos Marami Vimandra Sarasarambi Vamsevati Tatastita Vimandra Sarasarambi Vamsevati Tatastita Asha Vedo Svanai Gopir Gopinata Shriestunaha Tapta Kanchana Dorangi Rade Vrinda Veshwari Vrishnana Sutta Devi Narvani Kripriye Vrinda E Tulsi Deva E Priye Kisvasya Cha Krishna Bhakti Prada Devi Sakta Vakya Namona Maha Kazuvanda Pak Krishna Valdana Shiram Keshavo Vande Prachati Suchadatvate Paramananda Dattarao Shri Dhamati Piravritao Vandhapalara 
Namaste Alakraha, Namaste Mushala Yuta, Namaste Revati Panta, Namaste Bhakta Vatsala, Namaste Dharani Dhara, Namaste Palalam Srishta, Pralam Bare Namaste Stu, Ehimam Krishna Purvacha, Chai Si Krishna Chaitanya, Prabhu Nityananda, Shia The second class, the second medium devotee, is uh, he who has more fixed state in Krishna. He, he can recognize who is an advanced devotee, who is a new devotee. Hmm. He also knows how to associate with different devotees. How to make friendship with peers, with those who are the same age, same, same, uh, from the same time. And then avoids to associate intimately with those who are not devoted. It is very important. To associate with uh, these different devotees, especially the new devotee, to associate with Madhyama devotee, or if possible with devotees who are Uttama, who are on the highest platform of devotional service, who always remember Krishna, never forget him. Mm. 
Konsulta Madhikari is on the proper stand. Uta Madhikari is on the proper stand. They are... See, everyone is Krishna conscious. If respect to all living entities, not only devotees, to all living entities, they don't see enemy and friends, because in every heart they see the worshipful Lord. Stavara Chandra Medeke, Nateke Tare Murti, Samatra Hoi Nishta Iva, Nishta Deva Sporti. So the Mahabhagavata is this uh, certain that all li moving and non-moving living beings, Stavara Changama. Uh, Mahabhagavata is a pocket and a pocket and she will be sure. But it doesn't uh, give a uh, special attention, oh I like this kind of form or I like this kind of uh, personality. Or I like to I like prefer to do the, the forest here because it has a nice smell or I go to, uh, or I live in the city. Or maybe to live in the mountains. There's no such kind of preferences. Stavara Changana Deki, Nateke Tarvoti. Savatra and Nietzsche is the day of sporting because uh, wherever he goes, he only likes to see uh, this worshipful Lord in everyone's heart. He sees Krishna everywhere. Only himself he thinks, I'm not a devotee. Everyone else is devotee. I'm not devotee. Therefore, he can learn how to give respect to all the new entities. Of course, in this platform, uh, it's difficult to spread Krishna consciousness. Therefore, the Uttama comes down on the level of Madhyama to give an opportunity that we can uh, to, uh, to show by his own example how to. Uh, practice Krishna consciousness. Like Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is world Acharya. He is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. But he came as a devotee. As a hidden avatar. To teach by his own example how to practice bhakti. Ever there is always achara and prachara. There is preaching or seminars and there is prachar uh, acting than what is preached. The problem is sometimes we only hear. We hear a lot of lessons, but we cannot uh, apply them in our life and practice it. Therefore, this kind of hearing is uh, uh, not proper hearing. It's not hearing at all. So, so we have to learn how to, to hear so that we are able to practice. If you want to always stay on the material platform, mountain platform, if you only want to have sport and enjoyment in life and the career, then we don't have to associate with what is to hear from them. Because if we associate with devotees and hear from them, we want to learn something. So that, so that we can apply it in our life. Mm -hmm. For that, even, uh, even the uh, I would say people who are uh, ordinary people, who are not uh, specially inclined now in direction to emotional service, 
They also go to seminars, they go to retreats. They go to congresses. And they listen to all these uh, different, different experts who are speaking. And they pay a lot of money for that. <coughs> so, some of these, just for, just for two, three days, a seminar or a congress, sometimes they cost thousands, thousands of thousands of euros. But people pay the price. And they go, they're eager. Why? Because they know this kind of knowledge, what they receive, uh, uh, it is, uh, I would say, uh, priceless. I cannot invent this knowledge on my own. Therefore, we have to learn from the expert. Acharya or, uh, Acharya or those who are uh, uh, preaching, uh, they, speak, uh, they act, act also for me, so they are Acharya or Acharya. Therefore, it's very important to learn and listen attentively to experts. For those, for those who are uh, practicing, who are si sincere in devotion. Actually, Sila Prabhupada wanted that uh, everyone should become sincere in devotional service. Hmm? We should not waste our time. Especially after some time of practice or, or be, being in contact with, with uh, ISKCON or with devotees, one should take this process very seriously. So that we are able to absorb ourselves in these books that Prabhupada gave us. So the Prabhupada told, I didn't draw these books just for distribution. I wrote them for all of you. So that you can read them, that you can absorb yourself in these books. And apply them in your life. To become ultimately a lover of Krishna. That's the ultimate success. Mm -hmm. So what Mataji told, you know, uh, the, the seminar, this two-day seminar what she gives, is about the ultimate success, Krishna prayer. Mm -hmm. Raghunath Askaswami is uh, Acharya of Prayochana. Uh, and I, Gaudiya Vaishnava, Gaudiya Vaishnava, we have three principal deities in Vrindavan. Radha Madamohan, Radha, hmm? Radha Gurinda, and Radha Gopinath. So uh, these three deities, they represent uh, one, one level of devotional service. Or of, of bhakti practice. So the first, the first one is uh, Radha Mohan. Mm -hmm. And his Acharya, Srila Sanatana Goswami. So what, what we can learn from, uh, by fixing our mind on Radha Madamohan and this uh, Following guidelines given by uh, by Sanatana Swami, it, it is Sambanda. First, we have to establish and understand our eternal relationship with God. We have to know who is God, who is me, who, are, who I am, 
What is the material world? What is the spiritual world? And what is my relationship to all these things? This is called Sambanda. So Sambanda Gyan, the knowledge about one's relationship with the Supreme Lord and how to engage everything in the service of the Supreme Lord is what's teached by Sanatana Goswami. And then, the, uh, then the Abhideya. Abhideya is, if you know what is the goal, and what is the sadhana to achieve that goal, this is the process what Sanatana Goswami teaches. He gives us sadhana and the goal. But the, the steps, step by step process of our engaged in, engaged in devotion service is teached by Sri Rupa Goswami. Mm. And what is this Abhideya Acharya? By, by Rupa Goswami's mercy, he gave us uh, Bhakti Rasamrita Siddhi. And by the practice of, uh, of Bhakti Rasamrita Siddhi, nectar of devotion by Siddha Prabhupada, they can learn how, how to practice devotional service in the regulated way and in the spontaneous way. It's very important to accept guidelines from Guru, Shastra and Sadhu. If you not invent our own process of Bhakti. So we have to learn from the expert. Srila Rupa Goswami is a great expert who teaches us, shows us how to practice regulated devotional service. Then the third Acharya, Raghunathas, is a Sambanda Videya Prayojana Acharya. Because he teaches us how to attain love to Krishna. He teaches us how to love Krishna. Kamchala Purushata Prema Kumata Maha. Sila Rupa Goswami, Sila Sichitani Mahaprabhu told that the highest goal is to attain love to Krishna. So, so therefore, bhakti is not just a little chapa and then finish. Taking prasad and be a vegetarian and then I'm the water. To have a deity and worship the deity a little uh, quick, quick uh, offering and uh, puja in the morning and I'm the water. It means we have to dive, dive deep in this ocean of bhakti. And for that we need the guidance of Guru and the Sadhu. Of the experienced devotees. Who show us by their own example and by their own practice and knowledge how to uh, apply this uh, knowledge in our life. And the devotees don't have to pay so much money for such a kind of uh, process like the I'm so ordinary businessman has to pay. <laughs> Don't you not be creeping and think, oh, I cannot afford this. Or you should not be creeping and think, I cannot afford this. I cannot, oh, it's too far away. It's too, too much money I have to spend for all these days. If one has desire for it, then uh, it will be possible. 
So, uh, one, one process, very important item, what Rupa Goswami says uh, in, in uh, Nectar of Instruction. Is that when a devotee uh, who wants to begin devotional service has to uh, be utsaha, enthusiastic. Even as, even as a materialist uh, in, the, in daily life, ordinary person, you have to be somehow other enthusiastic. Čak i kao materialista, kao svakodnevna osoba, u svakodnevnom životu, osoba treba biti entuzijastična. Although we can see now that his entusiasm is actually very rare. Danas vidimo da je entuzijazam polet, jako rijetak. Most people are so much depressed. Jer ljudi su jako depresivni. They have so much, so much hard job. Imaju teške poslove. And to do this job, they have to drink, they have to smoke. I zbog toga moraju piti i pušiti. Moraju koristiti ljekove, neke čak i neke psihološke ljekove. Samo da mogu odraditi svoj posao. But uh, Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita that devotional service is not like that. Ali Krishna kaže u Bhagavad Gita da predano služenje nije tako. Devotional service is uh, susukam kartam avijam. Predano služenje je susukam kartam avijam. Uh, devotional service is very susukam, that means very auspicious. Predano služenje je jako susukam, što znači very, popularno. Very joyfully performed. Uh, jako se radosno primjenjuje. Means uh, without joyfulness we cannot uh, attain success in bhakti. Znači, bez radosti ne možemo dostići uspjeh u bhakti. Mm. Therefore, Rupa Goswami uh, recommended one of the 64 items of, uh, uh, of bhakti angas, of sadhana bhakti, is a uh, festival. Zbog toga je Rupa Goswami preporučio kao jedan od 64 glavnih dijelova predanog služenja that the devotees uh, arrange different festivals during the year. Because uh, most of the devotees, they cannot come to everyday sadhana process to a temple or to a sangha. The festival is a very important item of, uh, of um, of the bhakti process. Zato je festival jako važan dio procesa bhakti. Utsaha. 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 Means very great festival. Very joyful event. Utsaha. Veliki festival. Jako radostan događaj. So this is very important to cultivate bhakti. To je jako važno za kultiviranje bhakti. Because the world is naturally in the festival you feel joyful. Yes, the fact that people on a festival are not so happy or sadness. Everyone is happy, and everyone who comes with happy people together also becomes happy. Yes, everyone is happy, and the more they come in contact with happy people, the more they are also happy. So festivals make you happy. Festivals make us happy. We should not only have one festival in the year. We should not only have one festival. There is the Mastin festival, the Sport Purnima festival, the Nisinga Day festival. Cine Prabhupad, Guru Puccia Festival, Yasu Puccia Festival. There's a round Novami Festival. There is also the Frushka Gora Festival. Prabhupad told, and can also, managers of the temples, they should, or from association of devotees, they should invent festivals. Prabhupad said that managers of Ramova, for the happiness of the people, should be izmišljati festival. If you read Chaitanya Charita Marita, Lord Chaitanya, he arranged so many festivals and participated with his devotees on these festivals. If you read Chaitanya Charita Marita, how did the Lord Chaitanya organize so many festivals and in them he was working with his devotees? And what means festival? What does it mean festival? Singing, dancing, and prasadiran. 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 
Dat was heel erg van het plan, je weet, voor de Jugoslavië. Dat was zijn programma. En hier ook leiders, je weet, de devotees die hier komen te preken. Vrouw Paatal, je moet gewoon deze mensen zingen, dansen en de prasad. I to je pisao pismima, bakama koji se dušu ovdje propovedati. Trebate samo pjevati, plesati i davati im presada. That's all. To je sve. Da ne bi not so much in the philosophy. Možda ih ne da ima baš previše filozofije. Especially in the beginning. Pogotovo ne da... Because they like stories. They like to laugh. A, vole čuti priče, vole se smijati. They're very emotional. Jako su emocionalni. That's the first thing when I came to Yugoslavia. 1985. Došao sam iz Švajcarske i da dam neka predavanja od djeljenih knjiga i da idem van djeljenih knjiga iz Švajcarske. Da im pokažem kako djeljenih knjiga. Prvi put kad sam došao da osam lekcije, drugi put sam išao van s njima. Ali nekako je uvijek 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 But I wonder, you know, why the devotees can speak and speak and speak and speak and they cannot stop. They never come to an end. I wonder, you know, how is possible? Immediately when the Sankhidan devotees come back, you know, they found with somebody and they're sitting in the corridor in that corner and that corner and they're like speaking, laughing. I bakle svugdje, ono, u Sankvetan kombi, u jednom kraju hodnika, na drugom kraju hodnika, u ovom čošku, ono, čošku se nađu s nekima i pričaju, pričaju, pričaju. To me jako zadivio. Svako da understand, you know, the Braupad's program was actually perfect, you know, this association of Yugoslavian devotees, they like to sing, dance, happy, fun, and... Jer razumio sam taj pravopad u program za jugoslavijanske bakte koji voli tako pevati, pričati, plesati i biti sredni. Vi ste programirani na način da možete biti bakte, da budete bakte. Imate tu radost, tu sreću. Ali nekad zaboravim. They are stopping us to make progress in devotional service. I've already told there are two kinds of Asad Sangha. Association with people who are not favorable for devotional service. And association with our habits or thoughts who are not favorable for devotional service. So how do change that habits of association externally and internally? There is, there is practically no remedy in the material world. There is no medicine for, for curing this disease. This disease is so terrible. Huh? People are uh, avoiding it. And they think a ghost of It goes so far that it makes you completely crazy and brings you up to suicide. That's the only medicine and alternative 
Association with devotees who are enthusiastic and fixed in devotional service. And if you have such an opportunity to associate with such with devotees and hear from them, and associate with devotees, then, then uh, immediately this change in the heart can take place. It's such a powerful process. And for Lord Chaitanya and the whole process is recommending that association of the workers. By all means. That, that we should never neglect. Because if we don't have association with the devotees, we have association with so many things that are not connected to Krishna. Then we are wasting our time. So, therefore, whenever we have opportunity to associate with the devotees, and we should take it and take this uh, process seriously, take part in the kirtans, in the seminars, on lectures. Take prasadam. And be happy. Enjoy the festival. And you will see, if you go, take part in every day in this festival, you become, you become more and more happy. Increase more and more, and then you can take a video wherever you go. Stop here. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. Yeah.